Now, this is a quick, albeit maybe not obvious one. We can improve the anti-aliasing of the oscillator we just made up by encapsulating it in a poly subpatcher, thus allowing for upsampling the signal. Bear in mind that this imposes additional load on the CPU, but in terms of audio quality, especially when talking about oscillators, it's almost always worth the effort. So first we're going to create ourselves a poly patcher file, which is going to be passed to the poly as an argument. In our case, we're just duplicating the matrix lookup we used in the previous episodes and wrap it between in and out objects. These are special in and outlets designed for working with polys. Next up, we're going to remove the random sequencer components from the patch, making room for a little experiment. Let's double the lookup subpatcher and call it lookup poly. In it, we make up a poly object and pass some arguments. The name of the patcher file we want to multiply, the number of voices we want to allocate, whether we want to down or up sample, and by what factor we want to do so. Note that the last two arguments are optional. So with just one voice, why all the hassle? The answer lies in those last two arguments. Here we upsample by four times whatever the sampling frequency is. So for example, four times 44,100 hertz. Effectively shifting the fold over frequency, also called the Nyquist frequency to 88,200 hertz. This will make a huge difference for the oscillator sound, as we'll soon hear. So, without further ado, I'm going to set the pitch to a very low one, 40 Hz, so we can optimally inspect the outcome. I'm also pulling in a selector for A-B testing. Let's make a radio group here. Fine. I'm going to use Spectrum Draw here, which is part of the His toolbox. Let's start with a pure sine wave. Hear the hissing? That's the anti-aliasing produced by fold over at the Nyquist frequency. Now let's also check out the other two waveforms. Clearly, sound-wise, this is an improvement. We could have gone farther by pushing the upsampling factor up to 8 or 16, but as I said, this comes at the price of higher CPU cost. <laughs> 